Hi, welcome to the homework for lesson 23. It's module four of grade one. Get your name on here first. It's you know, always the easiest question to answer, so get that one right to be, just get you started. Number one, fill in the blanks and match the pairs that show the same amount. So I'm, what I'm going to do is go through this and fill in the blanks, and then we'll go back and match all the pairs. So looking at A, we have two tens, so like these are bottles of marbles it looks like. So there's two tens and two and three ones. And over here we have two tens and this looks like a group of ten. There's another five groups, that's fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, that's seventeen ones. Now normally we wouldn't write a number that way. But, you, but that's what we have, two tens and seventeen ones. Here we have three groups of ten and four single ones. Here we have one group of ten. And how many ones do we have? There's ten here, ten there, another, so that's ten, twenty, and another five is twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, so that's 28 ones. And we're just counting. How many tens do we have? One, two, three, three tens, and eight ones. You can see because there's, it's like a ten frame, but there's two missing there, so that's two less than ten, that's eight. Uh, here we have two tens, and how many ones? Well, there's a group of ten here, and that's four, so it's 14, 14 ones. And here we have one, two, three tens. And this is a five group, six, seven, seven ones. And here's a one group of ten, which we have. And how many ones? This is a ten groups. So that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ones. Now some of these are going to have the same amount. And that's where it's going to get a little bit tricky. So it might help to just go through and look at these and figure out how many these are, right? You're looking at these. And it might be one way to do this is to try and just match up, match up the numbers. So if this is two tens, this is really 10, 20, 37, 30. This is really 37. This might help you figure out how to match them. It's just to count them all, right? And so this would be 10, 20, 30, 38. So you could count them like that and that, that use the picture to help you just count the picture to figure out how much there really is there. Two tens, 14 ones. It's, you know, and that's we're changing unit form into regular numbers to make it easier to make comparisons. Uh, so, or easier to match the numbers. So here we've got, if, or if you're going to add two tens to 14, that means we're going to look at this tens digit here, that one, and add two more to it. That makes it three tens for 34. And we can do the same trick here for these. Is we have a 13 here. We have a 13 and we're going to add one more 10 to it so that we're going to have one more 10, 23. And now we can match these up pretty easily. Because on the left column, all of these have just two 10s, three ones. You can look at these and just see that this is 23 and match it up with the other 23. And you can see that this one here is 34 and match it up with the other 34. This is 38, and match it up with the other 38. And then this is 37, so we match it up with the one all the way up here for the other 37. And now it's matched the place value charts that show the same amount. Move up so you can see them all. And it's kind of the same thing we're looking at but they're in place value boxes now instead of written unit form.
This is easier. Here we just have, we can look at this three tens, eight ones, and just see it as 38. And over here, this two tens and one one, we can look at it and see it as 21, and we can see that's 26. It's harder to do with the numbers, these numbers over here. So what I'm going to do is just rewrite them as regular numbers, so it'll be easier to match them up. Maybe you don't have to do that. Maybe you have a different strategy that works for you, but this is the first one that I thought of that would work for me. So to combine these two tens and that 18 ones, I'm thinking that 18 just needs two more tens. So that's 18, 28, 38. That's going to be 38. And this 16 needs one more 10. So that means that tens digit there is going to be one more. So it's 26. And this 21 here is going to have nothing else added to it. It's just going to stay 21. So now it's going to be really easy to match these up. 21, 26, 38. Check each sentence, and that is true. So if, I'm going to put a check in the box next to the sentence if it's true. Uh, 35 is the same as 1, 10, 25 ones. So I'm looking at this 25 ones. If I add one more 10 to it, then I'll have three tens. It will be 35. I'm going to just write that down just so I can see it. I highly recommend doing that for these. Uh, so 35, that's the same as 35. That's true. And we'll look at B next. 28 is the same as 1, 10, and 18, 1. So if we take the 18 ones and add a 10 to it, then we have one more 10. So that's two 10s, and we'll still have the 8 ones for 28. 28 and 28, that's the same. We'll look at C next. 36 is the same as two tens, 16 ones. So 16 ones, if I had, I'm looking at that one 10 there. If I add two more tens, I'll have one plus two, I'll have three tens. For, but I'll still have the six ones. So 36. Now, if you have trouble doing this in your head, I highly recommend drawing a little place value chart. Tens and ones and use that or you can draw the quick tens do that too that will also work anything that'll help you just to, to picture it if you're not good at um keeping all the numbers in your head and a lot of us aren't that's okay just draw draw a box like that so you can see the digits and think about what the tens are and what the ones are and then add more and change it so like for this one i might do this is the 16 ones, I would start with a 10, I'll write the 16 in the place value box and say, oh, okay, now I need two more tens. So that's going to be two more for three tens, and that's 36. And that way I, I'm not forgetting about those six ones. So 36, same as 36, check. And then here we have 39. So far, everything's been true, it is the same. So this one's probably going to be false, right? 39 is the same as two tens and 29 ones. So with 29 ones, and let me just use the trick I just talked about here. I'm going to draw a little place value box. And maybe you have room for it or you don't. I'm drawing mine right over the next question. That's okay, as long as I can read it. These are tens and those are ones. Okay, so we're starting with 29. And we're going to add two more tens. So I have two tens. I'm going to add two more tens. Two plus two is four. So this is going to be 49. That's not the same as 39. So I'm not going to check that one. Now we have a word problem. Emmy says that 37 is the same as 110, 27 ones. And Ben says that 37 is the same as two tens, seven ones. Draw quick tens to show if Emmy or Ben is correct. So read, draw, write. We read it, now we're going to draw it. So this is Emmy. I'm going to draw Emmy's quick tens. She says that 37 is the same as 110 and 27 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. These will make quick, these ones will make tens. So that is, and I'll even draw a little place value box here. Tens and ones. That's three tens and seven ones. Ben says 37 is the same as two tens and seven ones. So Ben has two tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. All I did was draw what he said to draw. Uh, and then now I'm going to make a little place value chart. Tens and ones. He has two tens and seven ones. That's 27. So Emmy has 37 and Ben has 27. So uh, Emmy's the one who's right. Emmy is correct.